Storm surge. Two more players did get eliminated. I think he just got a buff now as players began to drop. So Wakey, Wakey went down to the Storm. Skype with an elimination onto Astonish. So we are one player away from the end of Storm Surge. And there it is as we just hit the threshold. So now no more panic has to come through for these players for the moment. The next one will come into play in a couple more zones as Keenstar right now, the double qualified player from France currently set on up against Envy's Bucky as they are within a couple boxes of each other. Just to see exactly where things move through here. Just want to hold these edits and look out. No reason to apply too much pressure just yet. He's kind of waiting to see other players that may be around him rotating away, and that's exactly the play. Bucky, by the way, uh, a player that we've seen in competitive qualifiers, he actually spent some time talking to Hogman a lot to refine his gameplay and his drop, and we've seen a big improvement since then. Quick shout out to Hogman for helping Bucky out with that one. All the way here to the World Cup solo finals. Will he use one of the campfires in, in the inventory? For 25 extra health. It depends on the, yet. It depends on the play. If he's looking towards late game, he's gonna try and hold on to those for a heal off potentially when this, that final zone starts to close. We'll have to see. A quick reminder, by the way, on the right side of your screen, a victory royale. The win is worth 10 placement points. Those are big. Top five is seven points, top 15 is five, top 25 is three points, and every single elimination for these players is an additional point. We go the focus of the current map right now a lot of players out here on the hill Northeast side of Neo tilted actually a pretty good spot You have multiple slips nearby while those are still on you have to remember those do turn off Sky picking shots. I believe that's on DRG just to the south No pressure applied there. He's trying to sneak any shot he can through actually it's challenged Surprises me doesn't go for the build there to protect and get a better spot. Wow. That's Inside solid damage box, Just go for it Solid damage and what look what's also on the ground right there. The legendary infantry rifle. Still can swap to that when needed. Right now, choosing to go with the spray weapon. This is a player that's close. We have a replay coming on in soon of Mega from Fate. This is played yesterday in the duos competition with Dubs. Dubs already dropped this game. We'll see how Mega plays this one. Gets in the opponent's box. Two clean shots. And there it comes through and near max materials, slurp chug splashes will be sitting pretty with the inventory right there. The next zone did just pop on up, moving to kind of the eastern side of the current zone. And what we're seeing right now from Skite is Skite recognizes he's got extra materials back. So he's gonna run back, build out a little bit, grab the excess materials, and continue to tunnel with these mats. He's also juggling items over as well to still have the ability to use these whenever he would like to wish to uh, in these next zones. Here's everyone on the map, a rocket being fired on the far side. Bizzle there, still still boxed up in metal just outside the zone. And Stompy, who was one of the more dominant European players in the online qualifier, still in this one. But Zate, Zate was in the lead with Sap yesterday. Five of the six games, but in the end, not able to close it out. You see, just continuing to spray. Is above the damage threshold. This next threshold of player stock will do 50. So we're about a minute away before it activates. Bizzle with elimination, though. Down on the Stacy. At this point, too, you have a lot of players. Crunch is going to start to happen. Player count starting to dwindle. The loadout here in Zayt's inventory. A single shadow bomb going to be used for rotation if he has to. Not quite yet, though. He's already in the next safe zone. That heavy sniper rifle we just saw moments ago, and he'll probably go for it again. He's going to knock out a wall and immediately swap to that legendary AR to try and take shots while the wall is gone, while the player may not be paying attention. This is the big one right here. Immediate swap, a 69 shield pack, solid crit through the wall. They do box up, but it looks like at that moment he saw the box was being pressured from another player and decided to go for it. Keep in mind, here we go. Keep in mind, no healing for Zayt, so you can see just how cautiously he's taking these fights. Oh, yeah. Also, today in solos, there's no longer the threat, Dr. Lupo, of the double heavy sniper. Sure, we've seen solo players try to use it to their advantage by themselves. Lol boom, bottom right of your screen. Zayt top left with two blade eliminations so far. And here comes Storm Surge for players pushing on in. Not a threat for Lol Boom as he's 409 above, but Karhu did just go down to that Storm Surge. So an unfortunate game number one there. And ooh, some free shock grenades to pick up Dr. Lupo. Extremely useful in these rotating zones. And oh man, Lol Boom is eating this stink bomb. 50 damage, Dr. Lupo. Terrible, terrible spot to be in for Lulbu.
Raul Buva, solo Irishman, qualified for the World Cup here. Gonna have to push on through and try and make his way to the next safe zone. Multiple ballers on the outside. He might be able to grab that one in the water right there if he sees it when he pops out. The way you see vivid on your screen. Evil Mare still there as well. Psalm rotating in, multiple ballers still on the field. Look at that look middle. at the yeah. Oh this is gosh. like this is like a Fortnite World Cup apartment complex. <laughs> you have countless players stacked in next to each other. Bizzle going for the edit reset, can't quite catch himself just yet. Muga still making plays high up on the leaders, and here it is again. Yarkos with the elimination from earlier on down onto Aqua, who obviously was our being yesterday in duos. Rough start in game number one, Bizzle. One of the most consistent and winningest Fortnite pro players of all time, Dr. Lupo. When you say a veteran in Fortnite competitive, Bizzle is at the top of that list, but here's Yarkos again. Now on the high ground after that first elimination down onto Aqua, looking for more right now as he's got ultimate high. This is one of the best spots in the game right now. We'll have to see where the map is going to rotate in north, northwest, so he's going to have to make a move soon. A very hefty weapon loadout. Not a whole ton of rotation. Does have the two launch pads, does have the redeploy, but those are gonna leave you exposed up in the air. A little look back, King. Rotation here, the feet starting to light up. 38 players. Oh, yeah. And that count is gonna go down, down, down. Zate eliminated by left eye. Colorful taking up another one out as well, King. Four eliminations. You have to remember, placement points don't kick in until top 25, so he only has those four. But those are four very, very big points. Here we go, the storm starting to pressure players. You're gonna see a lot, of, a lot of launch pads and redeploys coming to play, and those community movement mechanics like launch pads placed on the ground would be tough. A player actually just flew oh. right through <laughs> King's box. That could have been bad, up. Dr. Lupo. That, that could have been real bad. Bottom. Maybe a trap play from either player. We'll have to see here. Benji Fishy in the feet taking another elimination. Top 35 now, D seconds away from the next circle. And Mr. Savage trying to contest uh, contest Rux for height as they both continue to build on up. Mr. Sam Savage goes for the shot. Rux gives it up for the moment. So, game one right now, the height goes to Mr. Savage, but there's still a ton of time. Savage, but there's still a ton of time left on the low ground right now. You've got Pika Week, Class Week, Flettermoy's Week, Toozy Week as well. Mr. Savage has shot down Rux for the moment. He still continues to keep height. Yarkos, though, looking to challenge right now. 27 players left. Placement points it. about to come into play. Yarkos takes the ultimate high on the backside there. Riverside from Team Liquid flying across right to left of your screen. Multiple players, ultimate low ground warriors down there, both in and out of ballers. Class looks like he might be a campfire in the middle of it. Mr. Savage. King! Oh, it. And it's made it into placements. King absolutely. The number one performance so far in game one. 120 in total HP. Can he find us a limb? No! As the crowd erupts. Top 20 now, though, but King got the job done. There was 27 players left, Dr. Lugo. King eliminates the last two to make it a top 25 for the placement points. Huge plays there. Waylon Kurtz going down in the feed. What a shot and a quick edit swap there. Uga showing why he's one of the most accurate Top 15. Players. Top 15. Mega with an Elim. Your feet in the top left. One of the most important things to watch if you're looking for players' names. Here's going to have to wait and bait players out. Movement now. Here it is. The Shadow Bomb for rotation. He's still got two more in his inventory, which this late in the game is huge. He does have the three Shockwave grenades as well. His height needs to be taken. Or even a long-range rotation. Eight players remaining, Jack Yarkos. Four eliminations, everyone in here getting those placement points. Oh. Beam from above, and no goes build. down. Yeah. No builds, gonna be tough there. Saw him picking up that Elon Booga though, five. Right now, moving forward. But not only that, two Shadow Bombs left, still with Shockwave Grenades too. The number one point we've seen in competitive Fortnite this weekend, when do you use the Shockwave to go for height? It's Som currently on height. Booga sees that. That was him taking a look for exactly where the player is. I think it's time, Dr. Lupo. We go. Shadow Bomb will be used. Okay, so not quite you're doing it yet. looking for a high ground. Yeah, I was that, looking that to see. He's saving those. Don't you worry. I guarantee before too long. Play sitting the edge of the storm. The box up. He's going for edit shots. Big hit. My gosh. On the outside. Booga picking up his sixth elimination. Creo, Rux, Booga all on the low ground. Bella EU, oh, all one player, the top one player falls just shocked down. the height. It's still some up top. Same floor as Creole. 1v1 up top, two, 1v1 on the bottom, stuck in the box. Big hits, back to back shots. Booga picking up another elimination. Booga is insane three now. Almost gonna be his game to win. We'll see here another.
other one. Can he find the ninth elimination and the first victory royale, the World Cup solos? Dr. Lupo, it might be time soon. It might be time soon. Booga, Booga smiling. He's got the health advantage on Creo. He does. Folks, it might be time for the shockwave play. Booga can soar up into the sky. Go for it. Here it is. Shockwave to hide. Shots coming in. No elimination yet for the first game victory royale. Oh, my gosh. Confident play from Booga. What a monster. The first victory royale. The crowd on their feet. Booga, calm, cool, and collected, wipes out five of the last top six players for the victory royale. What a swing of points right there, Dr. Lupo. You